This problem asks, how many sodium atoms are there in 100 grams of sodium? So I have to think about what my starting point will be. And it looks to me like 100 grams is the only mass amount that I'm given. So my start, just to label it, is 100.0 grams of sodium. And where do I want to be? The finish line is I want to know how many atoms. So atoms. Now, I need conversion factors to get there. So let's just take kind of an inventory of the conversion factors that we know. So I'll just write conversion factors here. And the periodic table will tell us that one mole of any element, it tells us how much a mole of any element weighs. So if we look over here at sodium, it's really small, but one mole of sodium is the same thing as having 22.990 grams of sodium. So there's one conversion factor. And the good part about this conversion factor is it's in, it has units of grams and grams can get me to moles. But my final answer is atoms. So I need another conversion factor. And luckily, I know that one mole of any element is the same thing as having 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd items or atoms of sodium. So we've got our second conversion, and it gets us from moles to atoms. All right, so it's time to solve the problem. So we're going to do it down here. We take 100.0 grams of sodium, multiply by a conversion factor. I'm going to pick this conversion factor right here. I guess I'll just circle it. And that means I put the 22.990 grams on the bottom and one mole goes on top. And then I need my second conversion factor. And that's going to be one mole on Na on the bottom and 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms on top. And when I multiply across and divide by what's on the bottom, I get a number that is 2.619. There's more digits, but I'm going to just go with 1, 2, 3, 4 because 100 as one, two, three, four in it. So um, I multiply that by times 10 to the 24th, and it's atoms of sodium. And that's the answer.